creme fresh. Cue the South Park jokes now. And we're gonna top that with some nice cream fringe. Creme fraiche is a staple French dairy ingredient that chefs have been using for generations. It's sort of like the French sour cream. God, I'm gonna get destroyed in the comments for that. Creme fraiche is an awesome ingredient to use to bolster sauces, to spread on toasts, uh, to on your potatoes. Uh, it, it's sort of just think of anything you'd use like a sour cream or like sort of a slightly sour dairy product for, and you can replace it with creme fraiche. I've even put it in my coffee. Just kidding, that's pretty nasty. It's an acidic, slightly fermented dairy product that consists of two ingredients, whipping cream and buttermilk. For the whipping cream, make sure it's not heavy whipping cream, but instead regular whipping cream. And for the buttermilk, make sure it's cultured. If it's not cultured, this whole process will not work. Whipping cream, cultured buttermilk. That's all you need, two ingredients. Anyways, without further ado, here's how to make creme fraiche. I'm using a wide mouth mason jar here, plain and simple. We are going to start this recipe off with a cup of whipping cream. I'm going to scale mine out, but you can use a measuring cup if you like, just one cup liquid measure. Uh, it's important to use regular whipping cream, as I stated, not heavy. In goes the whipping cream. Next up, we're gonna put in our buttermilk. This has to be a cultured buttermilk or else the fermentation process will not work. Be careful, pasteurized buttermilk will not work. Now it's time to seal up our whipping cream and buttermilk mixture. It's important to use something that's breathable. Do not use the cap that comes with your mason jar. I like to use a coffee filter, but you can use a clean kitchen towel or a cheesecloth perhaps. Anything to sort of just keep things out while maintaining a breathability. I like just to pop a rubber band on there, wrap it around, and keep it at room temperature for 24 hours in a you know relatively warm spot. I like to keep it on top of my fridge. After the first 24 hours, you are going to take your creme fraiche, remove the coffee filter and rubber band, give it a stir, and you'll notice that it'll be a little thicker than it was when you first started, but it's not quite thick enough to be our finished creme fraiche product. You're ready to stick your creme fraiche in the fridge for another 24 hours to fully thicken up. This is what it'll look like once fully thickened. A lot thicker than the first step. Look at that beautiful luxuriousness. <laughs> One of the beautiful things about creme fraiche is it can be used as a savory and sweet ingredient. One of creme fraiche's best friends of all time is a crunchy sourdough. So I'm just spreading a little bit of that on. I'm gonna put some lox, capers, and onions on there and make myself a little sort of like open-faced lox sandwich situation going on here. But you can, you know, top it with nut butters, fruits. Like I said, you can do a lot with creme fraiche. This is just one application. Alright guys, I hope that that video was helpful for you. Uh, if you liked what you see, please be sure to subscribe. I'm going to try to start uh, making more videos. This is going to be more of a thing. Uh, the next one, um, I'm not really too sure. I have a couple ideas in mind, but if you have any ideas or want to see me cook, make anything, um, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, peace.